So imagine a being that embodies Guts' rage, is as lustful as slain, and has an obsession with strength comparable only to Zod the Immortal. I am of course talking about the all-powerful Purgatory. What's going on everyone, Ace here with another video, and today we are talking about Purgatory, the self-proclaimed goddess of blood. Now just a heads up, this won't be an in-depth video on Purgatory as a whole, don't worry that will most definitely be a video for another time. No instead, I'd like to specifically focus on one of her more defining traits. Also if the side of blood, real or on screen turns you off, I am warning you now, if the name didn't give it away, things are about to get, well, bloody. For those of you unaware, Purgatory can utilize something called blood alchemy. Now, when conjured, she brings forth a vicious cycle of assault and mayhem, leaving behind an unspeakable amount of carnage. Purgatory's blood alchemy is extremely versatile, to say the least. With it, she has the ability to rejuvenate herself and even heal wounds no matter how fatal they may appear. But there is a caveat, no blood, no blood alchemy. She has constructed all types of sharp projectiles and weapons during battle, as well as for defensive purposes, creating shields from incoming attacks. She can also use this ability to shapeshift, where she essentially breaks down into a puddle of blood to either forcefully guzzle herself into the body of her victims or use it as a quick escape. Lastly, she has a psychic control over blood. This requires an opening of some kind first for her to activate it, uh, but even a small cut can become her gateway into manipulating either her own blood or the blood of her enemy. Learning about their strength and powers, the more of their blood she absorbs, the more likelihood she can mimic and create a version of her own. So how did she obtain this gruesome ability you ask? Well, let's dive in and take a look. Now despite her appearance, Purgatory is first and foremost a vampire, so from the get-go, blood has a consistent and important role in her existence. It is her curse and her constant hunger. She began her vampire life during the time of ancient Egypt, and as the years drew on and on, she ventured north during the time of the Roman Empire, and as she stalks the night in the wilds of Druid Britain, she hunts the poor souls to satisfy her hunger. It is here the druids are in a state of uncertainty. They are divided amongst each other, with the newer generation looking for answers in life from outside sources, and the old generation wanting to keep to tradition. Secondly, they are on a constant alert from the unavoidable invasion from the Romans, and now, Purgatory. The two druids that play a role in Purgatory obtaining her power are the powerful witch Kiva and Tane. Would you look at this happy boy? <laughs> oh, damn, Tane, buddy. I gotta tell you, when it comes to friendly faces, you, you, you're coming in at about a light three. <laughs> so, Tane has been given a vision of the future, right? And he sees what's going to pass. He sees his people consumed by the Romans and his religion consumed by Christianity. His very own existence will be lost to time. Now Tane cannot and he will not accept this. So in a very, shall we say, apostle-like fashion, he sacrifices several of his fellow people, including his own brother, in exchange for power and to obtain a demonic form which he calls Shamanak. What's his plan? Well, it's to become a god amongst men and change the legacy of his people forever. Now, one of Tane's sacrifices happened to be the lover of the witch Kiva mentioned earlier, who is not a druid by blood, but was hesitantly adopted into their society. Apparently, she comes from a long line of witches that have passed the knowledge and sorcery down from generation to generation, and this includes blood alchemy. At this point in time, Kiva is unaware that Tane is the one committing the murders, but due to her being a witch, she can sense that the deaths are unnatural. She vows revenge for the loss of her lover, 
and prepares to combat the threat when it shows its face. Her weapon of choice just so happens to be our girl, Purgatory. This is mainly due to Kiva witnessing Purgatory's slaughter of a Roman invader on a previous night. Terrified and impressed, she knows that Purgatory will be the perfect vessel to enact her revenge. So with her magic, she not only summons Big Red, but enslaves her body so that she may use it like a puppet for her own usage. On the eve of their holiday known as Samhain, aka modern day Halloween, the Druids hold a ceremony and it is here that Tain decides now is the time to take his apostle form. He then admits to the Druid elders that he was the one responsible for the murders of their people and that he will lead them to a better future just so long as they worship him as a god. Witnessing Tain's actions, Kiva summons Purgatory to fight the newborn deity and take her revenge. However, while they fight, the two are at constant odds with each other and are wrapped up in an internal struggle, giving Tain the upper hand. The fight doesn't seem to be going in their favor. Purgatory, out of self-preservation, demands the witch let her regain control of her own body so that she can destroy Tain. Cautiously agreeing, she lets Purgatory regain control. The battle still takes a turn for the worst, and Purgatory, having lost a lot of blood, is on the verge of death. It's here that Kiva tells Purgatory about the blood alchemy. Purgatory and Kiva have shared minds during this time, and Purgatory now has the knowledge to use the blood from one of her gashes and form a sharp projectile, which she uses to decapitate Tane. Fragile. So fragile. She then excitedly feasts and kills almost all the remaining druids at the ceremony. Purgatory becomes lost in the bloodshed, almost possessed until Kiva finally regains control and uses the sun to destroy Purgatory. Later it would be discovered though that Purgatory actually hid herself within Kiva's body and would eventually take over and shed herself from Kiva's skin. Kiva's soul is forever trapped within Purgatory and it is stated that no one but her will ever hear Kiva scream for all eternity. Also, Purgatory is really getting some satisfaction from Kiva's predicament here, so. <laughs> and this is the horrific origin of Purgatory's Blood Alchemy. Overall, I personally enjoyed this story uh, just because I thought it was a good decision to uh, create an origin for Purgatory's Blood Alchemy. In other tales, you do see her use it quite a bit and it is one of her more unique traits for sure. Also, I'm a really big sucker for like taking legitimate history and then creating fictional stories out of that. Really, I mean, if you think about it, Tane's motives, I mean, besides, his, you know, he does become the stereotypical villain, you know, when he like, says, I want to be a deity and have people worship me and all that, like that part, yes, that's your typical super villain. But his original motive was, you know, what do we do when we see that our existence will be forgotten you know ultimately you know it's that that act of you want to leave your mark on the earth and for him to see that he wouldn't have a chance or any of his people have a chance to really do that that they would be kind of this lost relic you know and the world would know very little about them and then you have kiva who really ultimately just wanted vengeance you know she was grieving obviously for her lost loved one this story is very tragic just because nobody gets really what they want and really the only person who comes out on top is purgatory who really was brought into all this against her will so ultimately what you can take away from it i guess is the old saying play with fire you're gonna get burned so those are just my personal thoughts on the story. You guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on revenge and of course, our favorite dark goddess. What did you guys think about Purgatory? Had you heard about the character before? Do you guys wanna see more? Leave a comment and let me know. And until next time guys, take care.